Hi everybody. This Saturday, March the 16th, it is time for the first monument of the season, Milan San Remo. The course covers nearly 300k, with the combination of the Cipressa and the Poggio in the final 30k being the most important features. After the first selection on the Cipressa, the Poggio is usually decisive, even though it's under 4k and climbs at an average gradient of 3.7% only. The Cipressa is slightly longer and is steeper over the first 4.5k, with a short bit at 9%. Here's an overview of the winners of the final 10 editions. Half of them won from a sprint of a small group, two from a reduced bunch sprint, and three successful solos. One launched by Nibali on the Poggio climb, one in the descent by Mohoric, and last year's edition where Mathieu van der Poel ignited the afterburners in the final stretches of the Poggio, carrying his attack into the descent. Interesting to note is that victories in the last 10 editions have been spread nicely amongst the teams, with only Bahrain victorious managing to win twice. In the 21st century, only Zabel and Oscar Freire managed to get repeat wins here, Eric Zabel in 97 and 98, 2000 and 2001, and Oscar Freire in 2004, 2007 and 2010. In recent years, nobody managed to win the race twice, something which may change this year around. Here's an overview of some of the riders lining up with previous experience in this race, including seven former winners, Christoph Alaphilippe, Demar, Kwiatkowski, Van der Poel, Mohoric and Stuyve, and some riders with an above average number of top 10 finishes, compared to their number of race starts. Michael Matthews, Ewan, Pogacar, Kra Andersen and Pedersen are the ones that draw my attention. Here's the betting odds at the time of recording, with Mathieu van der Poel and Pogacar the main favourites, at equal odds. Then, there's the riders to watch in my book. Note that I'll be looking for punchy guys here, because the chances that this will end in a sprint are very minimal, in my opinion. Starting with Mats Pedersen at Little Trek, he lined up here last year and the year before, and ended in 6th on both occasions. At Ineos, I'm calling Narvaez and Ghana. Narvaez because he may surprise, and Ghana because he has the credentials. Second last year, out sprinting Wout van Aert and Pogacar for second. Somehow, this doesn't feel like Pitcock's race to me, yet as usual, I'd be happy to see him prove me wrong. Pogacar at UAE, it's his fourth attempt to take this monument, and on his former three participations, he ended in 12th, 5th and 4th respectively. Then, at Visma Lisa bike, Laporte and Coy are the main men, Note that this is Laporte's 10th participation here and that he never did better than P13. Mohoric is the one to watch at Bahrain. We all have his kamikaze descent on the Poggio in our minds, yet also on other occasions he did really well here, riding into the top 10 in 4 out of 7 participations. Van Gils at Lotto Destiny, third in the Strade Bianchi earlier this month. It's the third time he lines up here and I believe this could be the one where he's in for the top 10. At Cofidis, I'll be keeping an eye on Zangle as an outsider for the top 10 as well. Then, Alpacin lines up with a strong block here. Besides Van der Poel, also Philipsen could win here. In the unlikely event, we'll end up having a sprint of a small group. And Ka Andersen is almost a certitude for the top 10 here. Ninth, seventh and fifth in the final three editions. Trentin is one whom I still consider an outsider for the top 10. 12th here in 21 and 19th on last year's edition. And finally, Cosnefroy at AG2R, 6th in the Strade earlier this year, 4 minutes 39 behind Pogacar. Pogacar and Van der Poel are my 4-star favourites. Pedersen gets 3 stars. Ghana, Mohoric and Koy get 2 stars. And Kra Andersen, Cosnefroy, Van Gils and Laporte each get 1 star. For the podium, after what we've seen at the Strade Bianchi earlier this season, I expect Pogacar to launch on the Cipressa to make it hard for Mathieu van der Poel. I'm sure he has last year on his mind, where he could not respond to Van der Poel's counter-attack on the Poggio, and I'm also sure he has observed we've seen the best Van der Poel ever during the cyclocross season, a form which he's almost certainly going to carry into the road season. I expect Mathieu van der Poel and Pogacar to go to the line together, for van der Poel to outsprint Pogacar for the win, with Pedersen sprinting to third behind. Thanks for watching, enjoy the race and see you soon, most likely for Gent Wevelgem.